Going to college is an exciting time in a young person's life. 对于大学生来，对于年轻人来说呢，上大学是生命中呢最棒的时光了。It is a time for gaining knowledge and having new experiences. 这段时光呢，是给大学生们增加新的经验，呃，和新的知识的好时光。Both inside and outside the classroom. 无论是在课内或是在课外。But between exams, papers, and maintaining an active social life, 但是呢，在呃考试、写报告和维持活跃的社交生活的时候呢 ，college students may find it hard to keep up on their personal health and wellness. 大学生可能会发现到，原来要维持呃健康的个人的健康呢，其实是有困难的。Until an illness catches hold and stops them in their tracks. Indeed, a lot of college students have health problems. 卫生福利部去年针对台湾大学生一项健康报告指出 ，According to the recent survey by the Ministry of Health and Welfare, 有规律运动习惯的大学生比例不到三分之一。Less than a third of college students exercise regularly. 有高达四分之一的大学生根本没有运动的习惯。Moreover, a quarter of men don't exercise at all. 另外，大学生中有很多人有体重过重的问题。In addition, a lot of men are overweight. 近期调查指出，台湾有三分之一的大学生体重过重。A recent survey indicates that many Taiwanese students are overweight. 看来年轻等同健康，年轻就是本钱这样的观念已经越来越不适用了。It seems that youth is health, youth is wealth doesn't apply anymore. Okay, 好。But staying healthy in college has become easier than before. Because most colleges today offer on-campus health counseling and endless physical activities for students. The trick is to know how to make the most of the resources on campus. So the students can stay active and healthy. Such as sports field, swimming pool, or stadium on campus, they are free of charge, or 或是提供非常便宜的学生价 ，or provide low prices for students. 不去使用真的很可惜。It's a pity that. 
，you don't lose it。同学只要一周运动三到四次。Students should work out、uh, three to four times a week。每次半小时到一小时。Being healthy and active is not as hard as you think. Um, 没错，维持健康比没有想象中的难。For college students, they can make three lifestyle changes. 对于大学生来说，他们可以改变生活模式。That will immediately improve how they feel and how they manage stress. 这会改变他们的感觉还有体力。Number one, stay physically active. 健康活力。Regular exercise not only improves a person's physical strength, but also their mood. 嗯，规律的运动不但能维持健康，也能保持良好的心情。Number two, maintain a balanced diet. 第二点，维持饮食均衡。Eat enough fresh vegetables and fruit. And cut back on junk food. 吃新鲜的食物，然后避免吃热食食物。Number three, get a good night's sleep and try not to stay up late too often. 第三点，呃，要有良好的睡眠，然后不要熬夜。
熬夜打报告。And stay up to do the homework. 就常常牺牲睡眠。They don't sleep. 对于你提出的三点原则，大学生实际上到底该怎么办到呢 ？As you mentioned, how college students to achieve it? Okay, 好。For college students to incorporate more physical activities in their life. 对于大学生来说，为了要让运动成为他们生活中的一部分。They can begin with activities that they enjoy. 可以从事一些他们喜欢的事情来做。Try a class like belly dancing, rock climbing, tai chi. 嗯，例如跳舞或者是太极拳。Or they can simply go for a walk with their friends. 或者是和朋友出去散步。Second, college students should try should keep track of their daily food intake. 嗯，他们第二点。学生们必须记录他们的，呃，生活饮食。To make sure that they are eating a variety of foods from the five key food groups。嗯，为了让他们保持健康。Lastly, they should get at least seven to eight hours of sleep each day。嗯，还有他们要睡眠。他们必须保持他们睡眠品质在七到八小时之间。To maintain their energy level and strengthen their immune system。嗯，为了让他们。To maintain their energy level and strengthen their immune system。为了让他们保持活力和嗯，让他们的免疫系统不会下降。I hope that you find these simple tips to be helpful. Last, I want to add one more point. 我们要记得，运动在生活中每个环节都能够实施。We must remember exercise can be done everywhere in our daily life. 不止在健身房 ，It's not only in gyms. 不一定要在操场。It's not only in uh, uh sorry, it's not only in gyms, in play uh in playgrounds. 也不一定要选定某一个时段才能够运动。It doesn't have to be choose one specific uh time to exercise. 应该要把握日常生活中每一个可以动一动的机会 You should seize every moment that you can get to exercise freely. 像是有机会走路就不要搭车 Such as as long as you can walk, you don't need to. Take by bus or by cars. 爬楼梯不要坐电梯 If you can climb up the stairs, there's no need for you to take elevators. 骑脚踏车上学不要骑摩托车 Riding bicycle to school rather than uh riding uh right. Rather than uh, uh, rather than by motorcycles, 只要持之以恒，效果不会比上健身房来的差哦。As long as you keep doing it continually, the effect won't be worse than you exercise in gyms. Okay, 好 ，All right.
结束了，我们先问问看 Jason 老师有没有什么样的评语。Hey guys, as I've kind of told all the groups, uh, good job. Each and every group has made improvements from the first time, and uh, yours is very similar. A couple things, though, that um, are problems that we had before that I'd hoped not to see today. Um, some people are not using plurals of the words. They're dropping the S's off the end of some of the words earlier on in, in the first two speaking conversations. Also, the first two ladies, you didn't make eye contact. Um, and the teacher had specifically said that if you're translating for somebody, that you need to look towards them. Um, I know it's very easy to be very nervous and scared and to just look straight forward and get it done, but that's one part of being in this type of a situation, in a real situation, that you need to make a connection with that person, like, the person that you're translating for so they can kind of feel more of what you're trying to say and they can understand it a little bit better. Um, other things that um, were a little bit more specific, um, and this, a couple of these are problems that other groups had as well, so don't, don't feel uh, too bad about that. Um, a lot of people say the word, are trying to say the word Jim, but they're saying Jean, J-E-E-M. But it's Jim, like in the man's name, Jim, J-I-M. You want to sound it, say it that way, make it sound that way. Also, um, both groups are using the word doesn't have instead of don't have. I don't have a dog. You don't want to say I doesn't have a dog. Okay. Um, another one is um, uh, be choose. You can't be choose. You can be happy but you're making a choice. You, you can't be a choose, you're making a choice. And also, another one that a lot of groups have made uh, mistakes on, the, the last, I think, probably the last conversation is one of the trickier ones, because a lot of people are used to saying, take by, or go by the bus, or go by the car, or go by the scooter. But in English, when you say go by, it means you're going to the place, you're spending money to buy a new scooter or buy a bus. And you don't want to say that you're going by the bus. You're not going to go buy a bus, right? Because no one wants to drive a bus. You want to say, take the bus, ride the bus, um, take a bicycle, ride a bicycle, take a scooter, ride a scooter, take a taxi, ride in a taxi, things like that. I want to be careful, but that, that's a common um, misconception that a lot of people make. And um, also, and, and this is something to be aware of, at the end, uh, the lady said, uh, won't be worse than. Um, you don't want to say um, t taking the bus won't be worse than taking a scooter. You want to say they are similar. You don't want to use the negative, you want to use a positive. You want to say they it would be similar uh, actually it was about exercise um, exercising in your daily life would be similar to exercising in the gym you don't want to say that it won't be worse than you want to say a positive it'll be similar it'll be a good thing you want to say it in a positive way those are some things i wanted to share otherwise good job